Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, Smiling Dread 4 here, and welcome back to some more Tales of Zestiria for the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. As in our last session, we continued off from our little uh, trip in the uh, Assassin's Guild, and uh, basically went on a little mini journey to figure out what was in the ruins of this place, and in doing so, we actually got Rose, the leader of the uh, Skullcrackers, or the Scarred Bones, that was it. Uh, we got her to join the party, as well as, I'm not sure this is technically it, but her personal seraph, Dazel, the Wind Spirit, who just by his nature is kind of a bit of a pain in the neck, but hey, he's still a great guy, and he's also going to be helpful in today's session, as today, we need to head on over to Hendrago, the uh, home of the knights, essentially. And from what I've seen past the gate, we're going to be fighting a lot of monsters that have wind affinity weaknesses, and so, with that said, the Zell is going to be a great hand, and I think we should get things off and started right away. And already we get the wind step ability. Well, thanks, the Zell. Save point right here. Oh, and there's actually a skit here. I've never seen this before. What do we have? Lastenbell didn't have a lord of the land either. We did see a couple of Seraphim, but it didn't look like they were living together. I can't see them, but they've been here the whole time. To think that it's always been like that is just... so friggin' scary! <sighs> but in the past, Seraphim were revered. And in return, Seraphim gave the people their blessing. That's how it was in the era of coexistence? Yep. But the humans came to only believe in things that they could see. That can't be helped. There's barely anyone who could see Seraphim like Saray and Rose. It's scary that there are people around you that you can't see, but at the same time, it's sad. It's sad that they can't be noticed even though they're there. I wish everyone thought the same way you did, Rose. <sighs> Grumpy Dazelle. Um, if what he is his normal face is normal, then what is his grumpy face out of curiosity? <sighs> Do you want something? Hey, you. My name is Rose. I know. Then call me by my name. Hey, Rose. That's better. What do you want? Quit doing stuff like that. Stuff like what? Riding on the shepherd's back like that. Huh? Did you see that? By chance. Gah, that's why Seraphim freak me out sometimes. It's careless to entrust your body to someone like that. But that was part of the plan! To catch them off guard and then mow them down! That's not something an adolescent girl should do. Mowing people down? Riding around on someone's back. There's something wrong with a girl being carried on someone's back? It's careless of you! I told you it was part of the plan! I give up. I don't get it. Fizzell, you and I think very similarly, and despite your grumpiness, I've got a feeling you and I would be great friends in real life. Also, back to that first skit. Now when you think of it like that, it kinda makes you wonder. Is that a monolith? Let's grab this real quick, um, let's see. When the going gets tough, there's nothing wrong with sometimes heading directly from point A to point B, but every shepherd needs to dedicate time for training. You can keep tabs on the levels of the enemies in the area using the R1 button. If they seem too low, why not hunt down the mutant hellions found hiding in certain fields or ruins? Um, yeah, because they are overpowered and can make me load up my save points. So, that's one thing. However, not only are they a worthwhile challenge, the anomalous orbs they drop will increase your companion's health. So I'll be making sure to go over those guys in the post-game, if there's ever that for this LP. Alright then. So back to what I was going to. As Nick I Leo mentioned Luck, time and time it's again... It's like what was in the Celestial Records! It's the Leaning Tower. I didn't know that it would be this big. I really hate getting interrupted, I will say that right now. Now, if anything interrupts me again, let's do this quick. As you guys probably know from my previous Lightning Returns LP, or maybe other times on my channel, that I myself am an atheist. You know, I don't believe in gods and all that. Because, you know, we I can't see them. I don't see how the possibility of them being there is there. And how they do the things they do. When you think about it, the Seraphim are, like, I guess, God. And how the people cannot see them. It's kind of like being atheist for this entire world. 
I don't know, it's just something that kind of interests me. Kind of makes me more attached to this world, as I can understand what these guys go through, but at the same time, I can understand why, you know, people don't believe in Seraphim anymore. You know, it's one of those, uh, connection kind of ordeals. And I find it kind of interesting. Also, something that never, uh, made sense to me. Gameplay recording has been recorded, well, this doesn't or, uh, look good. it's been exited. We're in a foul place. This feeling... We've been in places like this before. It's a crucible of malevolence. They make Hellions fight to make them nastier. Venomization. A diabolical practice. It appears this ruin was built to do just that. Who would make such a thing? I don't know, but there are several places such as this on the Glenwood continent. I had thought they had all been sealed up, but... Looks like they're back in business. This has to be held off. No question about it. We'll stop this. Let's go. Something's blocking our way. It must be to keep outsiders from entering. It's most likely that only certain people are allowed inside. You mean like... So, it's me alone, huh? The Shepherd? A solo fight. If it were me, I could ask for nothing better. Hmm. So yeah, that's there for us. And immediately as that exits, gameplay recording paused because you entered the blocked scene. This game is almost completely blocked because of Bandai Namco's copyright claims. Makes you wonder why they let that be a uh, okay thing. I'm kind of curious. Maybe they want a certain trend going? I don't know. Oh, also, that's the mutant Hellion. He's level 27. Do not go after him. Trust me, you will regret it. And I guess that should bring me up to another point that I need to mention before. As you can probably already figure out, I have been hey, through this not, whole thing before. Whoa, that thing is riding on looks way fun. Fun? That's a Hellion, you know. It shoots stuff out from its artillery, so be careful. Right. Now as I was saying, now I've been into this area multiple times for various reasons. Uh, the first time I actually came here was to figure out, you know, how we actually get moving on to the story because I could not figure out where Pin Jackal was and... Okay, he wasted the music card, but uh, who am I to complain? Uh, what was I saying? Is that it? Is this what you call a finish? Yeah, Dazelle, what's your problem? See, what was I saying? So basically, I did not know how to get Pin Dragon, so... Sucks. I basically did a little You're research familiar. off-screen to figure out where I was going. That is whole new levels of creepy. Damn it! Why can't I be a dumb dry ghost too? And I can think of multiple reasons, but uh, back to the subject. So for the first time I was around here, I was actually trying to figure out how to get to Pendrago. The second time around here, I was actually doing some testing recordings for the channel because. Now, as this is being recorded, I have myself a new laptop fan, which will, which will basically keep me, uh, will keep my laptop from overheating, and thus, hopefully reducing the amount of, you know, screen crashes, which is something that I really want to prevent. So, there's that. All at the same time, it makes it harder to split things up. Yeah, I don't want to get into that. So, I basically tested this thing out, and... The fan's actually pretty useful, I'll say that. In fact, I thought it'd be so useful that I could actually try recording at 1080p frames. Uh, for you guys to know the video lingo out in the uh, world. I tried that out. Didn't all run so well. Even when it was working, when I went to check the footage after it was recorded, things were a bit, you know, out of sync still. Actually, worse out of sync than when I see him on the uh, recording as it's being recorded, like right now. What's that? So yeah, 1080p, if I ever do that, I'll make sure I have a new PC for that. Oh, grab this please. Some peach gel. Basically, apple gel that covers HP by 50%. Oh, and also... Orc farmer. Literally just that. It's an orc farmer. This Hellion used to be... I can guess, and I'd rather not know anyways. Thanks. Yeah, we to the water because farmer reasons. Resistance to the earth because farmer reasons. 
and all that stuff. Now back to what I was going at. When I get off tangents, when I do get off tangents, I tend to forget a lot of what I'm saying. So uh, I do apologize for, uh, you know, just going completely brain blank in these situations. So yeah, 1080p probably won't be a thing, but on the bright side, there should not be any more game crashes. If there is, it'll be because of... Saray, is your sword style self-taught? Yep. Your grip, swing, and focus need work. But otherwise, it's okay. Is that a compliment? Of course not. No, it is. Huh? Gazelle is so hard to read. And he's slowly be becoming my new favorite Seraphim. Even out of the rain, it's still so cold. I'll say. Ugh, damn. Ugh, they've gone from scary to annoying. <laughs> still, to think Seraphim sneeze just like we do. Well, yeah, they are still technically, you know, organic beings. They feel the same things that we do, so it's not that surprising. Alright, did I finish what I was going to say before? I think I did. Well, hopefully that tension is uh, taken care of. And as I finish that sentence, my cats go nuts. <laughs> okay. And during that entire tangent of explaining, we actually are here in Pendrago. If you cannot figure out how to get here before... Whoa. This place is huge! Fortunately, Rose yes. has her own auto-GPS. on the Glenwood continent. Hmm. Where can we find an inn? I recommend the one directly in front of the plaza. You sure know your way around. Well, you know, I used to come here a lot. Found a new discovery point, the Fountain in the Square. Fountain of Wrath. Dizel? What a resplendent fountain. Yeah, it's one of the famous sites of Pendrago. I don't know a lot about it, but supposedly, the water's piped in from afar through an underground channel. Oh, I see. So much work for something that doesn't even serve any purpose. Stupid, simple humans. Well, considering their lack of seraphic arts, I think their technological advancement is commendable. Useless. Pointless. Waste of effort. It's also known as the Fountain of Wrath. Wrath? Why do they call it that? Something with the piping's all messed up. Every now and then. <gasps> <sighs> like that. Oh dear. Stupid, stupid humans. <laughs> uh, that's what you get for insulting the humans. But uh, hopefully we don't get drenched. In fact, why do you say we save this guy from taking a quick shower? Justice. Got any equipment with open skills? I can make it nice and pretty pretty. Justice. I see recovery upon successful evasion. Very handy for our good old assassin. And if we had one more spot on our calcite sword, I would definitely equip it. Or equip him slash her. Whatever gender the justice is. But here you go. A little gift to our brand new shepherd. So fix your good. And fare thee well. Justice now serves the Lord of the Land. And now for plot. About time we get some exposition. In these 14 minutes. Give or take. And... Superman! Sergei! He's one of the Cardinal's subordinates. I tried to apprehend him, but oh, you saw what he was like. His movements were incredible. You could tell, right? It was a Hellion. No doubt the about Cardinal's it. The Cardinal's underling is a Hellion? Then... Forgive me, sir. He's escaped into the Shrine Church. It looks like it's true. I believe he was likely a messenger of- He's like, well, what? What was that? I'm cold. You can blather on inside. Tell us the details after we find shelter from the rain, if you please. Our friends are feeling a bit chilly, and even a seraph can catch a cold. Sadly, this is- this is friends. true. Not that you could tell, since you can't see him. Of course. 
Forgive me. I should have been mindful of the Seraphim's presence. Let us head for the Knight's Tower. Your wife sure is considerate. Yep. Oh boy. He still thinks they're married. <sighs> okay then. Time for me to go on to another tangent. And I'm sure you guys probably remember this one. Um... Found it. Totally found it. Yeah, congratulations. Um... When Sergei caught us in the last session, he knew that we were lying when he said we had a, a uh, business at Boris's canteen. He realized that, you know, we were lying. And yet, out of everything that he heard, he believes that Saray and Rose are husband and wife. May I ask, out of all the things, why is that the one thing he remembers? Just... Why? I mean, I guess it's somewhat believable, but come on! It's just something that kind of irritates me. Oh, also, that was Strawberry Shortcake, named after the once, uh, fruity princess character from the TV show. Great, let's move on. And from here on out, everything's actually blind. So yeah, time to get back to the whole point of the LP. Let's get a move on. <laughs> 